Okay, I'm back with another AI based PowerPoint presentation creation video. In this video, I'll show you how can you use generative AI to convert any of the PDF file or Word file to a PowerPoint presentation. So without wasting much time, let's get into the video right now. If you see here, I'm in Google homepage. Here I'll use this application that is SlideSpeak. Earlier I published another video using SlideSpeak. How can you produce stunning PowerPoint presentation? Check out the link in the description below if you want to know that. But here, let me today show you this method of how can you convert any of the PDF file or Word file to a PowerPoint presentation. What I need to do here, I need to click on login and it will log me in. I already have an ID created. If you are new to this particular application, you can use your Google credentials to log in. You can also check the other video I just talked about to understand the step by step. How can you start? However, it's very easy to log in using your Google credentials and you'll be able to see this kind of an interface. Here it's showing some of the old presentations I created earlier. Here. let me show you how can you start if you click on create presentation it will show you three options here so first one is the one we are talking about and I will show you this particular method in this video earlier I covered the middle one that from a topic so that that is already covered so today I'll show you this particular option so that how can you convert a word file or PDF file to a presentation so what I'll do I'll click on start now then it will ask which PDF file or word file you want to use let me open one of the file which I recently generated using another AI tool that is napkin.ai that video also you can check in the description below let me open that so this is the PDF file we are going to use so let me do one thing let me minimize it and here what I need to do I'll just drag drag this file here and then it will start uploading and once this uploading is done it will prompt next now you can see this particular file has been uploaded if I click on next then it will analyze that file here I can mention if I have any specific requirement maybe I uploaded one PDF file of 20 pager and I want to use page number 11 to 15 to produce this presentation that I can mention here I can keep it blank if I need to use the entire file I'll keep it blank because I want to use the entire file and and then I'll click on next. Now it will show you some of the options that is presentation length that you want a three to eight slider or more than that. If you want a short informative or the detailed one, what I'll do, I'll go ahead with three to eight slides because the PDF I uploaded, it's only two pages. It doesn't have much data. So I'll use the short one. Then language will be US English. It's fine. Tone, I will select professional. If your presentation demands any other tone that you also you can select from here. But I'll continue with professional. And then amount of text, I'll keep it standard. You can change it to concise or text heavy. That also you can do, but I'll click on standard. Now few of the additional options are here. First of all, add images. So if you want to use any of the images in your presentation, then you need to keep it on. So what I'll do, I'll keep it on. Second option is use wording from document. If you want to use actual text, whatever is there and you don't want to change, then you can turn this particular option on. Use wording from document where use wording very similar to your original document that it will follow. My requirement is it should take the concept from the document, all the headings and other things, and then it will produce its own text. So what I'll do, I'll turn it off. Now, if you want to add speaker note, you can do that. If you have a brand settings, you can use your logo, brand color, other things. All those options are there, but the brand setting comes under a paid plan so that you can check if you have any such requirement. And let me click on next so that I'll get the next screen. Now it will produce the outline of those slides. So you can see it is showing that it will produce eight different slides and in which of the slide, what topic will get covered that is also mentioned. If you want to change anything, you can click on this edit and you can change. If you want to delete any specific slide, that also you can do from this delete icon. And this is the way you will be able to find you. Now, if you are not happy at all with this entire table of content, you can click on regenerate and slide speak will regenerate your content again. And another option is if you want to add few new slides that also you can click on here to add items. So what I'll do, I'll continue with these eight slides and I'll click on next. Now it will show you different templates. Earlier when I recorded the other video on that time, slide speak had limited number of templates, but now they have improved and they have added few more templates here. What I'll do, I'll maybe select this one and then I'll click on next. Now, this is one thing you will be able to also customize. You can see there are some options. I'll select this template and I'll click on next. This is the last and final screen before you produce your presentation. 
if you want to mention anything specific that you can do here if you want a conclusion slide anything that you can mention i don't have any such requirement so i'll leave it blank and i'll click on generate now it is generating our presentation it will take some time and then it will produce the entire presentation and it will be ready so let's wait till the time it generates our slides okay it took some 20 seconds and now it produced this presentation let's see what it generated this is the first slide this is the second one this is the table of content now third is it's added some images and then you can see that it added some additional text also that pm box related references other things so this is key concepts of pmi standards it looks good it uh, looks really good and i'll show you some of the other options also maybe here you can see this option is there edit this image and here you will be able to change the image you will be able to bring your own image you can search the photos and illustration also now if i just type graphs it will show you multiple different graphs and you can if you click anywhere you will be able to add this particular image you will be able to use you can use ai to generate your images using a prompt so that also you can do it third and fourth option is my images whatever the images you already uploaded in slide speak those can be used here and you can also upload from your computer so all those customization options are also here so you'll be able to change anything and everything about this presentation let me show you a few more options if i close it you'll be also able to delete any of the thing wherever you need to change anything like this text if you click on then you will be able to change any of the text from here and then if you want to increase the font size or decrease the font size that also you can do if i decrease it from here then font size will get decreased so these controls are there now i'll show you another option where you will also get a greater control of all this customization and you can work on it now this is the slide pack right this is the slide it generated another good option let me show you if you are not happy with this slide altogether then you can click on regenerate and it will regenerate the entire content for you that's one option second option is we selected one theme earlier right but if you are not happy with the theme whatever it came up with you can click here again and you will be able to select a different theme if i click on this option then our entire slide design will get changed based on this particular theme so what i'll do i just came back to the my old theme so these are the options available here now let me show you one option using which you will be able to take control of the entire presentation if i go to download and then i download it as powerpoint now this downloaded file you will be able to edit in powerpoint further so if you are proficient in powerpoint and you want to use there then you will be able to take an output from slide speak and you will be able to utilize there let me show you very quickly what type of granular controls are available there if i just double click this file and it will open what i'll do i'll click on enable editing and now if i show you what are the options maybe i go to this particular slide there you can see this is the image right if i delete you can see it was an only an overlay so this is the image you can change you can add delete even you can see this components you can move it here there so all those granular things this text everything is edited so this is really good it is saving us huge amount of time think about a situation you have a document and from there you need to prepare a presentation if you are using powerpoint then you need to do it from scratch so this tool is helping a lot if you think of a situation you need to produce a powerpoint from scratch based on one document or any pdf file or any other references it is helping you to create that overall content structure initially and after that you will be able to fine tune and build on top of it so this is the beauty of this particular tool i thought of sharing with all of you i'll add the link of this tool in the description below it will be an affiliate link if you buy any of the paid plan i may get some of the small commission without any additional charge to you however with the free version also you will be able to utilize many more features within this slide speak application earlier i published another video using ai how can you produce stunning powerpoint presentation check out this video to know everything about it